assalamu alaikum this is namid akram in this video we are going to discuss this question on vectors which was the question number one in may june 2020 paper one variant one it was question number two in paper one variant two of may june 2020 it was question number three in paper one variant one of may june 17 and it was question number two in paper one variant two may june 2017 okay the diagram shows the resultant r of a three newton force and a four newton force that acts at point p so here we have a point p and we have two forces one is of four newton and the second one is of three newton which acts at this point P and this is the resultant R of these two forces. The angle between the 3 Newton force and the 4 Newton force can be any value from 0 degree to 90 degree which value of R is not possible. So the angle between 3 Newton and 4 Newton force it is not fixed it can be any value from 0 degree to 90 degree and we have to tell which value of r is not possible let us take the angle 0 degree what will happen if the angle between these two forces is 0 degree there will be a force of 3 newton and another force of 4 newton Two forces are acting in the same direction, so the resultant will be 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 Newton. So, 7 Newton will be the maximum value of the resultant vector. Now, if the angle between 3 Newton and 4 Newton force is 90 degree, then what will happen? Suppose this is 4 Newton force and this is 3 newton force then the resultant vector will be then the resultant vector can be easily found by a pythagoras theorem we will displace we will translate this 3 newton vector here and this will be our resultant vector Now this angle is 90 degree, this is 4 Newton, this is 3 Newton, we will apply Pythagoras theorem and it will be R will be equal to 4 square plus 3 square, it will be equal to 5 Newton. So we have a maximum value of 7 Newton and minimum value 5 Newton. So the value which is greater than maximum or less than minimum will not be possible here it is 4 newton it can also be found just by the common sense that uh, we have a 4 newton vector here and the angle between 4 newton and 3 newton is from 0 degree to 90 degree so the resultant vector cannot be less than or equal to 4 newton force so you can deduce from this thing as well that 4 Newton force is not possible. 